My cousin, Amal, lives in a small village in rural Egypt that is surrounded by a desert speckled with palm trees. There, the unpaved streets fill the air with dust, and the buildings are made of clay and sandstone. A few years ago, I witnessed something truly remarkable here. For the first time ever, an internet cable was laid to Emil's village. This thin copper wire is only capable of 2G internet speeds, and many families have to share just one connection. However, Emil credits this technology with connecting her home to the world and giving her access to the same resources, services, and information we take for granted here in the United States. For example, social media gave Emil a voice to fight for the rights of Muslim women. Resources such as Khan Academy allowed her to get an education and enroll at a university where she's now studying computer science. But most importantly, after she graduates, Emil plans to use technology in order to spread the same opportunities she got to the billions who have been left behind by uneven progress in the last century. This is just one example of the rapid adoption of advanced technologies by countries the United Nations Human Development Report considers developing. I believe that through technology, we will be able to achieve the greatest feat in the 21st century by making these countries developed. From my experience, I've recognized three key points on this topic. First, the developing world is incredibly diverse. Countries such as India, Indonesia, and Brazil each have their own challenges and also their own opportunities. Second, technology is only a partial and imperfect solution. However, I firmly believe that is the best tool we have in order to reduce the discrepancies in health, education, and income between different groups of people. And third, in today's reality, technology is no longer a luxury. It's a basic need. It's almost as important as food, water, and shelter. Making advanced technology accessible to more people spreads opportunity and catalyzes progress. Let's explore the evolution of innovation and technology in developing nations so you and I can continue the trend of rapid progress. In order to solve humanity's greatest problems, we have to, one, recognize that technologies can have a huge impact in developing nations. Two, utilize developing nations' capability to leapfrog. And three, leverage effective partnerships. So, technologies can have a high impact in developing nations and lift entire populations out of extreme poverty. Let's use Kenya as an example. In Kenya, 90% of the population has mobile phones. And it may seem strange to us that even the poorest citizens pay to charge their cell phones and get uh, by uh, calling minutes before worrying about other more fundamental issues. However, cell phones have become such an essential tool that people use to buy and sell goods and services. You see, instead of using cash, the majority of people in Kenya transfer calling minutes via SMS in order to circumvent the inhib inhibitory taxes and fees of traditional banks. This ingenuity significantly reduces the financial barriers of starting a business and therefore has allowed countless people to lift themselves out of poverty. This idea of texting phone credits as a form of payment was so successful that 10 years ago, it spurred the rise of Kenyan-based M-Pesa, the world's largest mobile commerce platform. M-Pesa quickly rose up throughout all socioeconomic classes, and today, 43%, almost half of Kenya's GDP,
flows through M-Pesa. This massive success caused similar services to spread to other nations. And now, they are starting to gain traction in the United States. The narrative that the leading technologies start in the most developed countries and then are later adopted by less developed countries is shifting. In fact, out of hope for a more prosperous future, the people of developing nations are some of the greatest innovators, creators, and entrepreneurs I've ever met. Another key point to take into consideration on this topic is developing nations' unique capability to leapfrog. While Africa has skipped to cell phones and mobile commerce, in the United States, landlines are still common, and credit cards are the norm. This shows that developing nations can surpass highly developed nations because they lack restrictive regulations and the dead weight of old technology. Developing nations can skip years of trial and error and just adopt the most advanced modern solutions. Take drone technologies, for example. Today, the largest drone delivery network, just like the one Amazon is working on, already exists in Rwanda and Tanzania. This system uses hundreds of drones to make thousands of life-saving blood and vaccine deliveries to remote hospitals every day. The reason this business was able to become successful in only a few years was because in the East African market, there are less flight restrictions, no existing ground-based delivery options, and the governments are much more nimble and technologically aggressive. In addition, this system was established in partnership between experts from the United States and from East Africa, when developed and developing nations work together towards a common goal. They bring diverse ideas and skill sets in order to solve problems that face all of humanity. We must work with people like my cousin, Emil, in order to achieve the greatest feats of the 21st century, such as turning the name World Wide Web from a goal into a reality. Emil, my cousin's name, means hope in Arabic. Hope is what advanced technologies, such as drone delivery networks, internet connectivity, and smartphones spread in developing nations. Hope is also what drives progress and innovation. Today, advanced technologies are coming from all parts of the world and converging faster than ever. Emerging technologies will drive emerging economies into the future, but also help all of humanity, no matter where they live. Through co-innovation, partnership, and mutual respect, you and I will be able to create a future where all nations are developed and all people have greater opportunities. Thank you.